If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. An impedance of 8 plus J6 ohm is connected in parallel with an impedance of 5 minus J6 ohm and this combination is supplied with alternating voltage of 200 at an angle of 30 degree. Calculate total current from the source and power factor of the circuit. Solution First of all, we will write what is given. Here we can see there are two impedances is given which are connected in parallel. So let's say this is impedance Z1. So Z1 is equal to 8 plus J6 ohm. And let's say this is Z2. Z2 is equal to 5 minus 5 minus J6 ohm. Now Z1 and Z2 are connected in parallel. Also the alternating voltage is given. So V is equal to 200 at an angle of 30 degree. Calculate total current from the source and power factor. So we have to find total current I and cos phi. So here we can see it is connected in parallel. So Z1 parallel with Z2. So this will be Z1 into Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Now here we can see Z1 and Z2 both are in rectangular form. So here we will write it as it is first. So it will be 8 plus J6 into 5 minus J6 divided by 8 plus J6 plus 5 minus J6. Now, first of all, we will solve denominator. So, denominator will be 8 plus 5. This is a real part. This 8 and this 5 is a real part. So, it will be 13. Then, this J6 and this minus J6 will be cancelled. So, only 13 is remain. This J6 and this minus J6 will be cancelled. Now, here we can see it is in rectangular form. So, we will convert this into polar form because in case of polar form, the multiplication and division are better performed in polar form and addition and subtraction are better performed in rectangular form. So here we are doing multiplication. So we will convert this rectangular form to polar form. So it will be under root of 6 square, 8 square plus 6 square at an angle of 10 inverse of 6 by 8. Now this will be in one bracket and in another bracket it will be under root of 5 square then plus minus 6 square because here it is minus 6 at an angle of 10 inverse of minus 6 by 5. So it will be in another bracket. Now we will solve this. So it will be under root of 8 square plus 6 square. Under root of 8 square plus 6 square. So it is 10 at an angle of 10 inverse of 6 by 8. 36.86 36.86 in one bracket into under root of 5 square plus minus 6 square 5 square 
प्लस माइनस सिक्स स्क्वायर इट इज सेवन पॉइंट एट वन सेवन पॉइंट एट वन एट एन एंगल ऑफ टेन इनवर्स ऑफ माइनस सिक्स बाय फाइव सो इट इज माइनस फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन नाइन माइनस फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी हेयर इट इज ओनली थर्टीन सो इट्स एंगल विल बी एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री वी कैन राइट इट्स एंगल विल बी जीरो डिग्री नाउ एज वी नो दैट मल्टीप्लीकेशन आर मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन आर बेटर परफॉर्म इन पोलर फॉर्म सो हेयर इट इज इन पोलर फॉर्म नाउ वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस टेन टेन विथ दिस सेवन पॉइंट एट वन सो इट विल बी सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट वन एट एन एंगल ऑफ नाउ हेयर दिस थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एटी सिक्स विल बी एडेड विथ माइनस फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन नाइन सो इट विल बी थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एटी सिक्स प्लस माइनस फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री सो इट विल बी सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट वन एट एन एंगल ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एटी सिक्स एंड दिस प्लस माइनस सो इट विल बी माइनस फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन नाइन इट इज माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री सो इट विल बी नाउ वी विल डिवाइड सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट वन बाय थर्टीन सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट वन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन so it will be 6 so this will be 6 at an angle of minus 30 minus 13.33 and here it is 0 so it will be subtracted from this minus 33 minus 13.33 minus 0 so it will be minus 13.33 degree and since it is Z1 parallel with Z2 that is total impedance. It is Z1 parallel with Z2. So therefore, Z1 parallel with Z2 is equal to Z total. So it is equal to six at an angle of minus thirteen point thirty three degree ohm. Then what we have to find we have to find current i so current i will be equal to v upon z total the value of voltage is given 200 at an angle of 30 degree 200 at an angle of 30 degree divided by z total is Six at an angle of minus thirteen point thirty three, so it will be two hundred divided by six. It is thirteen thirty three point three. At an angle of this will be thirty degree, and this will be minus minus thirteen point thirty three. So it will be. Thirty three point three at an angle of thirty minus minus thirteen point thirty three. So it is forty three point thirty three. Forty three point thirty three degree. Now since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. So this is the value for current I. then next we have to find cos phi that is power factor so power factor is equal to 
cos phi and we know that here this minus 13.33 this value is the value of phi it is the value of phi minus 13.33 phi is equal to minus 13.33 so therefore cos phi is equal to cos minus 13.33 so it will be cos of minus 13.33 it is 0.973 0. 73 so this is the value of power factor cos phi if you find this video helpful then feel free to donate whatever amount you can link is in the description below thank you